guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is your again, Teacher Pauline. And today, let's talk about children's and mathematics and the children's world. Young children engage in significant mathematical thinking and reasoning in their play, especially if they have sufficient knowledge about the materials they are using, if the task is understandable and motivating, and if the context is familiar and comfortable. Math can be seamlessly integrated with children's ongoing play and activities, but it requires an eligible teacher who creates a supportive environment and provides appropriate challenges, suggestions, tasks, and language. In classrooms where teachers are alert to all of these possibilities, children's play enriches mathematical explorations. Madden Blacks, Towers of Learning The benefits of black building are deep and broad. Children increase their math, science, and general reasoning abilities when building with blacks. Consider how black building develops. Rhythm and patterns. Preschoolers also engage in rhythmic and musical patterns. They can add more complicated, deliberate patterns such as clop clop slop clop clop slop to their repertoires. They can talk about these patterns representing the pattern with words. Kindergartners enjoy making up new motions to fit the same pattern. So, clop, clop, slap is transformed into jump, jump, fall down, jump, jump, fall down, and so on. It symbolized as an A-A-B, A-A-B pattern. Kindergartners can also describe such patterns with numbers. Two of something, then one of something else. Now, these are actually the first clear links among patterns, number, and algebra. Math flows through water play. Measurement frequently underlies play in the water or sand table. A researcher tells of visiting two classrooms in the same day, observing water play in both. Children were pouring in each room, but in one, they were also excitedly filling different containers with the same cup, counting how many cupfuls they could fit in each container. The only difference between the two classes was that in the latter, the teacher had passed by and casually asked, I wonder which of these holds the most tapfuls of water. Rolling out math concepts. Materials such as sand and clay dough offer many rich opportunities for mathematical thinking and reasoning. Teachers can provide suggestive materials, cookie cutters, engage in parallel play with children, and raise comments or questions regarding shapes and numbers of things. Math in Manipulatives Children play with manipulatives, including combining flat blocks to make pictures and design and also to complete puzzles, reveals the developmental progressions as does black building. Children at first are unable to combine shapes. They gradually learn to see both individual pieces and a whole, and learn that parts can make a whole and still be parts. By about 4 years old, most can solve puzzles by trial and error and make pictures with shapes placed next to one another. With experience, they gradually learn to combine shapes to make larger shapes. They become increasingly intentional, building mental images of the shapes and their attributes, such as side length and angles. Building Concepts with Computers Picture making with shapes can be done with building blocks as well as computer shapes. Computer versions have the advantage of offering immediate feedback. For example, shapes can be transparent so children can see the puzzle beneath them. In addition, children often talk of more and explain more of what they are doing on computers than when using other materials. At higher levels, 
Computers allow children to break apart and put together shapes in ways not possible with physical blocks. Dramatic Mathematics Dramatic play can be naturally mathematical with the right setting. In one study, teachers and children put together a shop in the dramatic play area where the shopkeeper fills orders and asks the customer for money. One dollar for each dinosaur toy. In one classroom, Gobby was the shopkeeper. Tamika handed her a five card. Five dots and the numeral five as her order. Gobby counted out five toy dinosaurs. Play before problem solving. We have seen a different types of play enhance children's mathematical thinking. Studies also show that if children play with objects before they are asked to solve problems with them, they are more successful and more creative. For example, one study with three groups of three to five years old asked them to retrieve an object with short sticks for connectors. One group was allowed to play with the sticks and connecting devices. One group was taught how the sticks could be connected, and one group was asked to tackle the task without prior play or learning. The first two groups perform similarly and achieve better results than the third group. Often, the group that simply played with the sticks and connectors first solved the problem more quickly than the group that was taught how to use them. Mathematical Play this brings us to the final fascinating and usually overlooked type of play, mathematical play. Here, we do not mean play that involves mathematics. We mean playing with mathematics itself. Think again about Nita and her dolls. When she named them to identify the sisters she wasn't playing with, she was using math in her play. But when she decided that she would redeem the dolls she had with her from 5 and 6 to 3 and 4, she was playing with the notion that the assignment of numbers to a collection of objects is arbitrary. She also counted not just the dolls, but the counting words themselves. She counted the words 3, 4 to see there were two sisters missing. She was playing with the idea that counting words themselves could be counted. Promoting math in everyday play. Teachers support math in play by providing a fertile environment and intervening appropriately. Here are some things you can do. Observe children's play. When you haven't seen many new black constructions, share books illustrating different black arrangements or post pictures in the black center. When you see children comparing sizes, offer different objects that children can use to measure their structures from cubes to string to rulers. Intervene sensitively. A useful strategy is to ask if the social interaction and mathematical thinking are developing or is stalled. If they are developing, simply observe and leave the children alone. Discuss the experience later with the whole class. Discuss and clarify ideas. Children might each argue that their black building is bigger. You may see that one child is talking about height and another is talking about width. You can comment on how you see the buildings as big in different ways. As in, you have a very tall building and Chris seems to be very wide. Schedule long blocks of time for play. Provide in rich environments and materials including structured materials such as blocks and Legos which invite mathematical thinking. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!